Now, you didn't even notice that while I was talking to that man. A door opened and I was joined in the studio by Jerry Fish. Jerry, good morning. Good morning. That's a very, I'm very impressed with the facial hair thing. Thank you. <laughs> you really are pushing the boat over. It's the going, yeah. It just keeps growing. Yeah. Do you have these little sidebar I, things? I'm kind of, yeah. I have a picture of Salvador Dali at home, <laughs> and I'm, I'm now, I'm in competition. Jerry Fish is Salvador Dali at the moment. Lovely to see you again. And you, sir. Always a pleasure. Uh, watch the. Did you hear this thing about Madness the Musical? I got a letter from a production company that said Madness the Musical is going to be on the Olympia on the okay, 15th. Okay, and then what is it June. about? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean that's that's kind of what's his Ben Elton's fault, isn't it? Really, was he involved in that? No, but he, he, he you know, I think since the the he success Queen, of Queen, yeah. it, it's kind of this like, is all for charity. Right? Oh, everyone's that's very given good. their time up. And Suggs, I mean, they're, they're a good bunch of guys, yeah, aren't they? It's great music, great but music. they want me to do a guest part in it. Do you well, think I'll be out go. of my depth? Not at all. You're a superstar, man. I don't know about that, Jerry. Absolutely. Come on, Jerry. Let's no, be, you know, let's you be know I'm a sycophant. <laughs> <laughs> let's be realistic here, Jerry. <laughs> well, you know, why not? You know, spread your wings. Yeah, I tried to spread my wings at the uh, the dad race on uh, Sunday, at, my, at the, the fun day out for the school for the right. two girls. Look, there's the scar. I fell on the starting Dads line, Dads are very competitive, aren't they? <laughs> and they kind of, they do trip each other up. I don't you know. know. And they're not a great example to the kids on no. sports day. I hit the ground like a scud missile. <laughs> I had to be dug out by two women. You might have been taken out by a patriot, basically. Yes, <laughs> this is it. Jerry Fish is with us today to talk about songwriting. We're having this competition. We're trying to find the best singer-songwriter, the best unsigned singer-songwriter in Ireland. We've got about four or five hundred entries so far. Uh, the standard is really high. It's right across the board. There are bands. There are people with guitars, people with home computers, um, all manners of things. If you have a home computer, the Apple uh, Garage Band thing is amazing. Mm. Uh, so we're getting great stuff sent in. Yeah, I mean it's it's it, it, I mean it's so changed. I was just talking to Joe there. Um, I mean the whole it, it, Joe was saying when I bring in an acoustic guitar, I'm just the most my fingers fall to pieces. I guess I just concentrated on being a front man and kind of never kind of. Did you never learn the guitar? I, I yeah, I either. play guitar, but very badly. But I mean, I, as you know, when you kind of want to be front man, when you're looking at people like Iggy Pop and yeah. noticing he doesn't have anything strapped to him, you know, you you kind of that they're the people who inspired me as a, but I. As a front man, but I write sometimes with acoustic. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously with a band, I've written with lots of different people. So I guess when Joe was saying bring an acoustic guitar, I thought, well, it's kind of better that I didn't or a guitar player because, I mean, there's lots and lots of ways to write a song, do you know? And the second album, uh, well, the, 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 the Be Yourself thing, the, the Jerry Fish thing, um, I wrote some of that a cappella. Really? Because I wanted people to sing, I wanted to, to have those sing along. I wrote a song called yeah. Life Story a cappella, and kind of filled in the music afterwards. A know. lot of people who, who haven't tried to write songs or are just in the very early stages will find that amazing. A lot of people would think you need to be a master of playing the piano or playing the acoustic. Yeah, well, I can't, can I'm anything. trying to think, I can't even think of the name of the song, the Kylie Minogue. Uh, na, 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 can I get you out of my... Famous... Uh, Probably a classic pop song. We'll we'll hear it. You know, close to yeah. our graves, probably, um, which hopefully will not be too a long too way soon. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, what about that one? I don't think she plays anything. The girl who wrote that song. Do you know? I really? think a lot of people, Kathy Dennis. Yeah, that I don't, is. I, you she know, wasn't, she's not a, Well, from what I've heard, yeah. and I believe is, is she's not. A, she's not. A, you know, she'll I, just play a, a, a piano with one thing. And like you say, garage band is there now. Yeah. I mean, I write. I basically, my band broke up, um, I was left at home uh, thinking, right, well, how do you do this without lots of other people? So I bought an Atari computer and Cubase and spent about two years writing music for porno uh, <laughs> movies. You know. Excellent, good luck. Really, 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 <laughs> I, was, I was never able to sell any of it. Yeah. Never knew who to bring it to. But uh, <laughs> some people would argue that the more proficient you are musically, the less able you are to write a song. Um, well, th th there is a point to that as well. I mean, you can't feign innocence, and there's something wonderful about uh, something, somebody doing something for the first time. I mean, I'd also say, uh, with technology, um, the equipment to use is is, is also not, not vital either, because if yeah. it's a fantastic song, as you know, you can record it on anything. Right. Three, three, uh, three chords of red guitar and the truth, I think, uh, as Bono famously said. Um, he did indeed say that. I'm going to play a little piece of one of your songs and yeah. then talk to you about how you wrote it, okay? So everyone will know this. Here's essential complications I'm hung up on 
confused It's a planet full of traffic lights and traffic light of use But that's no stranger than strange Or any other stranger He claims it's dangerous to be innocent He should have victim every time of and Absolutely brilliant, Jerry. Still, on the night in the Olympia, may I say, this was sensational. Absolutely sensational. As were you. That was a, a top five um, U.S. modern rock chart in the, in the U.S. Yeah, in the, in the college radio. So it does you favours to this day, basically. Um, how did it come about? How did, how did that get written? Um, it was a, it was a band effort. So I mean, we'd kind of um, it was. I think we'd just been signed, and we were kind of. Uh, just a rehearsal room. I mean, a lot of lot of guys in bands will know how that works. You know, yeah. you, you kind of spend most of your life in in a garage somewhere, kind of working stuff out. You know, and I, I guess I was in lots of garage bands. You know, probably uh, lots and lots of them before an emotional fish. Always with the same bass player. I have to say, right. e Ender and I go. Did back it start life way. as a piece of music which you then wrote lyrics for, or it did? I think the bass line, which is which is probably the biggest hook in the song. Um, came first and, and a beat behind it I mean we we actually were, were quite concerned we were ripping off the Dixons who we were touring with at the time because of the country kind yeah. of beat and the, there was yeah. a band called the Dixons and, and uh, they had a lot of country uh, um, influences so we thought oh you know what are we doing but but for me and then the lyric kind of came uh, I mean, a lot of writing for me, I guess, is 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 therapeutic in some ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm kind of getting stuff out. I don't really know. So what the, the, the lyric of that always fascinates. But there's lines in it like it's a a planet full of traffic light and traffic light abuse. That is just such a beautifully observed line. And yeah, well, I, I'm still kind of uh, uh, you know kind of in the same mode. I kind of I think you know the qwerty keyboard is something that really fascinates me. It's, yeah. You know. We've we've invented this keyboard. Most people don't know why it's invented. It was invented to stop keys jamming on a keyboard. Yeah. Yet we have one on an iPhone. You know. <laughs> I mean, people don't like change. They're, yes. they're, very, they're very stiff to change, and I just think there's a lot of bullshit in the world. And, and, and basically, celebrate <laughs> well, this party's you. over yeah. is kind of me saying, you know, I'm going my way, and yeah. I'm gonna, you know, going home. Which I think home is a word that's that's full of uh, different meanings. <laughs> Different meanings, but the same meaning to everybody. I think you know it's it, it, yeah. it has you know, I guess it lots of different meanings. But the beautiful. Same meaning. Play the next one, do you know? And you nearly drifted out of music. Um, there was there was a point when you weren't going to go back to it. Um, when you did come back with the Mud Book Club, this was the song that put you back on the map. So let's go listen to this now. There's no point. Me and crew, true friends, never part. Uh, I get that's. I mean, I guess that's. I mean, it's probably quite obvious in the lyrics, but it's 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 dealing with kind of the loss of somebody, and 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 uh, so it's. I guess it's quite an emotional thing. I have to say, with both those songs, celebrate and true friends. I guess you're kind of communicating to someone, and the compliments are the, the like, one of the biggest compliments I got with celebrate was I met a guy from Cork who joined the Foreign Legion off somewhere in Africa, heard Celebrate on the radio and packed his bag no and just, way. yeah, absconded. So, so that was kind of the kind of compliment I got there. And with true friends, I have to say that the biggest uh, compliment I had was, was uh, somebody, his wife had a terminal illness and, and, and they said goodbye to each other through true friends. And I oh think uh, it's about, you know, losing someone to, to the other side, I guess. Wow, and, and, and didn't realise that. Um, so so powerfully emotional. Um, the real beauty of, of songs when you write them is how they move out from you and mean more to other people. And mm. that's kind of the attraction for a lot of people, isn't it? It's, it's to write something that even to a point lives on outside of you and, and after you, which is, which is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, and I think if you're really true to yourself, that that happens because I think we're all connected, you know, and intertwined as human beings anyway. So, you know, there's there's a there's a truth out there that you're kind of uh, stealing. I I find that the whole lot thing a little bogus as well because I I have a lawyer friend who who uh, convinced the Indian government to uh, pay. Uh, 
uh, artist publishing rights. Yeah. And I have another lawyer friend who's trying to get the artists in India to claim these publishing rights. Right. Because they don't believe it is theirs to uh, really? to take, because a lot of their music How is amazing. devotional. How amazing. And I think song and dance yeah. is original prayer. Not to get too deep, Tom, but, <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I and know I think, I think, from, I think you know, there's so much intellectual copyright on things now, and it's, it's become such a commodity. It, you know, that's not what it's about. It's about kind of uh, finding a truth that might be just yours, mm. but by finding that truth, mm. You, you'll realise a lot of us kind of feel Do you that, think you know? these singer-songwriter competitions are, are any good? Do you think, you know, are they a distortion or is it, is it right to give people a bit of encouragement and, and, and say I, that, I'm that's not, what you I'm do. not for competition really, do you know what I mean? Like I say... But encouragement? Encouragement is a great thing and, and, and I think, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, look, all these kind of um, things that are going on with these... Uh, uh, shows the voice and all the voice of Ireland, all yeah. these, all these things. I mean, I have to say, Pat from the Voice of Ireland, I'm a big fan of his. You know, and I think being blinded is a good way yeah. to at least judge a singer. Yeah. But but all these kind of shallow shows that are around, they all need songs. I mean, songs are kind of they will yeah. always need songs, yeah. and we need songs. You know, we need prayers, and 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 so I think yes, encouragement. We you know, the more people are writing, them, the better. Uh, one bit of advice for people if they write songs? Um, try to enjoy it. It's not an easy job. But actually the big tip I'd say is if you're working very hard on a song, it's probably not great. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> there are good ones come very quickly and very yes. easy, but you probably have to write an awful lot of bad I think ones you have before to stick you get the, the bad ones, yeah. don't you? Until you do, because pumps. you're learning all the yeah. time, and then all of a sudden you stumble on something that's... Yeah. that's uh, well, well, Jerry, the whole idea of this was to try and find, you know, encourage people. Mm. And more than I think, because a lot of the reality shows just you know, build them up to rip them down. So we just want to say, look, let's hear what you have and let's see what we can do with it. So it's all about encouragement. Hopefully we'll find great songs. True Friends, I had it for about three years. I played it to loads of people. Nobody understood. Nobody got it. Nobody knew what it was about. It was, you know, it, it um, just, you know. How amazing. And then, and then it became a hit. So, you know, kind Jerry, of even yourself, I think. Is the a best. pleasure seeing you as always Thank uh, you, gigs Tom. in June you're playing the Asia Festival in Carlow on the 9th the Glore Theatre in Ennis on the 16th Westport Festival that sounds amazing for Great, yeah. on the 24th and the Heritage Mu Music and Arts uh, Day at Heritage Park Westwood on the 30th looking forward um, there you go yeah, scene is on say just listening to Jerry is giving me encouragement love his attitude to music Great. so do I Jerry um, Sean actually how you pronounce that name my apologies <laughs>